possible in the late game. In this case here, though, I think IG are just going actually very safe with the Syndra mid. Yeah, Syndra here for... Peter, that's going to be the follow-up question. Crisp is moving into support, Tian and doing B. That's a great stun into the piercing arrow. In mid lane, you force him to take longer routes so he loses more CS. He's backed up, though. All right, the equalizer comes out as well as the stun. Really nicely set up, but there is a counter. The barrel comes out from Ning Goon gets killed. It's a one for one. They could go for a repeat dive here. Tian has ultimate here for key. No, no, it's now. No, oh, so much trouble. Supreme display of talent, I think, is available there and gets thrown out. Ning manages to avoid the hit. The tower coming. shot onto doing B. He gets slowed down by the barrel and the overheated W will allow him to escape with his life. Tian continues to chase. Baolan gets caught up against the wall. Locked down. Blast cone over. And Baolan secures the back to live. You see the turret plate that has been taken from bottom side as well as the extra CS. All right, we have indeed. Crisp is going to get caught out here. Yeah, uses the stopwatch teleport. Now starts to get channeled. Equalizer comes down. Can FBX turn this around? Baolan manages to chase. Forward. That's a great chain of corruption spreading across the FBX front line. It's a one for one thus far. Both junglers have gone down. Rookie's own in the bottom side when Chris uh, or when Balan's gone roaming. Ah, that's a dead Ning. And the story I was for a league that is very, very kill heavy, and we're getting a taste of that already this season. I mean, 100%. This is what happens when you have one team with a mid laner who's constantly roaming and another mid laner who's matching it, and they just want to fight all the time. Shy is going to die. Yeah, he's going to die. We might need to get a second play by play if this action keeps. They go for the safe bot lane and Iswell, who he can leave alone. Oh, he stayed. He canceled recall. Does he go for the fight? Dominus is not available to him. Great scatter the week from Rookie. I think that's stunned doing being prevented the follow up. Very, very true. But so, one thing is the bot lane matchup, obviously not being one you have to attack if you're FPX. Oh, this is they another tried. fight. You're never going to get a... <laughs> oh, shy. <laughs> There's so. another dive in the mid lane going on to Fischio. Here comes Rookie over the wall. Manages to get the stun dunk down by Ning. Now Baolan, he's joining the fray. Ning, don't way oh. too deep. The tower takes him out. Baolan finds himself on the wrong side of a Renekton. Whoa. The dredge line comes up, misses the target, <laughs> continues to escape. Now LWX, he's being dove, killed. Oh. Jackie Lapa. Go destroy him. I mean, you're looking at a champ select, right? Every every champion is a viable target here, and you've got Predator on your mid laner as well. Anyways, Rift Herald used topside. Tower is down. FBX full steam ahead towards mid. They can rotate down through the jungle, by the way. And it looks like Gimgun was wanting to do that, but the Shy did manage to back away. Ning throws out the barrels to clear out the wave. LWX has not stopped the pressure top. No, and they have Renekton kind of covering for him as well. We'll, we'll get a fight. That's a flash forward, and Crisp is able to sidestep a lot of the damage, man, just to get the dredge line. Here's the support from Doom B, as oh, well as yeah. Gimgun. The good magic! Supreme display of talent allows for a triple kill for Doom B. They're not done yet. Yeah. Open up the tower. Two of the most impactful team fight ultimates in the entire game. Perfectly layered down there by FBX, and the rewards are twofold. They need to try to use that head flex. It's starting to cool down. IG want this fight. The Mountain Drake is going over. Balan was spotted out, and he's plucked off before it the was fight not a big one. can really <laughs> carry on. The Shy will manage to get some flight with Valor. Moves away. They're still looking for the fight. This is a four versus five. Dominus is on cooldown. That's a fantastic equalizer. Doing B's unstoppable. Picking up the kill onto Ning. Well, in the background, the journalist predicted a full five games. The Shy is now going to be under threat. Teleport is coming out in defense, but Crisp is actually the one that gets picked off this time around. F down. Do FBX play the map in a way that makes advantage of that unavailable TP? As it stands, they've pressured the tower. It's not going to be a Baron rush, so that's why they're not being too risky with their checks here. Ning's going to get you very late. He's going to get stunned up. He can't even get inside the pit. That's a kill for doing be a Baron snuff flank uh, opportunity for Baolan. And he gets forced away, blows the flash. Inner turret mid is secured. 12 kills. He's got TP available, but likely not going to contest. They will concede this objective. Six towers conceded. The defending world champions here in the first game. And FPX aren't done yet. There is some positioning, a little bit of a flank as the Shy eats a harpoon to the face. And as uh, Doombi starts to overheat, he is in some trouble. Now the fight breaks out and instantly blowing up Baolan. That's an easy kill. The equalizer's fantastic across the gate. LWX, Woo! Arcane shifts forward over the wall. That's a double. And that's going to be the inhibitor turret as well. FPX, clean, confident, and composed in this win. After that Baron play, the Baron hasn't even expired yet, and the Nexus will fall. FPX, the Summer Split Champions, take game one over Invictus Gaming.
What a hard smashing after that first. Into Nautilus is what we're anticipating. Mordekaiser now locked in for fun plus Phoenix, and we're going to have some fun with this. Crisp is roaming up first. Oh, man. Rookie's a little low on mana. LWX and Crisp is coming oh. up. There's the dredge line, the flash, the fist. Rocket grab not even needed. It manages to catch out Rookie. He's locked down in place. Heal is used. Flash is available to him. Rookie manages to escape. Snowball through mid. Let's see actually what happens here. Yeah, that's something important to know how FWX is around it. LWX is in trouble. He manages to escape with his life for now. Teleport's coming down. Top lane is looking to join the fray. The Shy jumps in, but now all of a sudden Invictus, they're caught out and surrounded. Ning will get pulled backwards and shut down. Kim Goon picks up the first of this fight. Now Rookie continues to put the hammer down, stepping forward with those passive autos. Kim Goon and LWX escape with their lives. And they get smashed here. Invictus Gaming now on the run. They dodge the hook, so I think they should be able to get it's possible dragon set up here because they've just taken all the priority out of mid. LWX gonna kite long enough and FBX. I love this fight, fight, fight. Ning gets caught up by T and inside Woo! the river. Crisp kills Jackie Love. Bell is the next target. It's donated to LWX. Exceptional killer instinct from LWX to dodge the chain of corruption at the start of the fight. And the thing is, the strong you can't... Lucian with blade completed. All right, there's gonna be a gank mid. No fight bottom yet. Dredge line will tag. Remember, no flash from earlier. Remember, the punish was in. Chain of Corruption comes in. Belly Pop goes out. LWX is down. Ning manages to secure the kill with a great devour from Valen. Now the tower's under threat as well. And that is the first moment where Invictus have been on the attack. They've been reeling this entire game, but Ning waits in the brush for a very long time. They're finally rewarded with the kill, but here comes a roam from Tian. All I right. think they should be fine, though. Rocket Grab will tag himself a Catfish. Valen's in trouble. Sonic Wave catches on to Jackie Love. Steps forward. The Body Pop is going to be enough, and Jackie Love blows up T and the damage came out of nowhere. Do and B will dredge line into the wall, but he gets the flash from Jackie Love and now Bowland is being burnt down alive. Ooh. The rocket grab almost catches oh, Expect that kill feed to pop up on your screen. Yep. <laughs> Someone's been hooked. Someone is dead. Oh, that's another. Someone's been there. hooked. Oh. There we go. Nobody's dead. And just forced him to go back in the shy. Okay, that was okay, kind of awkward. Doombi takes some damage. Remember, blue buff and blade. That's a body slam. Flash barrel from Ning. Ends up missing the chain of corruption, but it may not matter. Doombi stays alive a few seconds longer. Doombi stays alive. He's still alive. Until now, Rookie finally cuts him down. The teleports come in. Here comes the shy. Hemo Plague is in, but IG are on the retreat. FPX, they've got themselves a kill. Now it's in return as Invictus Gaming turn their attention to Gimgoon. Piercing arrow comes down. The rocket grab. Shut down due to Rome's Game two where he's just farming on a Vladimir. He still wants more more time. Rest of the round as well. All right, that's a protobelt forward. Could this be the death of the Shy? Let's find out. Silence, rocket grab, killer instinct. No, the Abyssal Voyage will come in, but Baolin does not want to be here. He may not be in trouble, though, as Ning is coming to support. Right there, FPX, they chained the initial CC into Ignite, so they know he's now low enough. We can actually kill him in the pool. The Shy did not want to pull early. Maybe did not expect Baolan to show up so quickly. Oh, Baolan. Well, Baolan gets caught out. Dredge line pulled back, and the damage is going to be there. But that's a good barrel. Ning is now going to get caught by the death shot. LWX steps forward. That's another kill to Fun Plus Phoenix and another tower. Someone gets hooked. Someone is dead. And FPX so will. Realm of Death is available to defend again. him, and he's thrown it down. Now, the tower will be the focus. The Shy is locked out of the fight for now. We'll rejoin in just a moment. Chris steps forward. Where's the rocket grab? Flash catches a minion. That's not good enough. The Shy should just about go down. Taken out by the ultimate of Blitzcrank and LWX steps forward. Shoots out the Ekathian Reign and are they done with the siege? It feels like it. Yep. Really good call from FBX because they know Rookie has no teleport. This is just a Lucian top. Uh, the Baron with... Pit and then just like hook people over the wall into the Baron Pit and kill them. I'm going to see way around. Teleport coming into the north as well. So as risky. The Fun Plus moving in. Invictus coming back away. They've got themselves some TPs, but they can't get out alive. This is trouble. The static field goes down. Chris gets blown up and killed by Jackie Love. Kim Goon, he steps all the way forward. He's holding on to his flash. That's another for Invictus. They found themselves back in the game. Here comes Doom B and Tian. Kim Goon's inside the pit. He's taken out. Three to Invictus. The dredge line comes back and Doom B. He wants to save it. The super carry of FVX, but there's not enough damage. Oh. Invictus are right back in it! What? FBX! They just had to wait a moment longer for Doyby to get there. And Chris brushes it right into the waiting arms of Invictus Gaming. Why would they wait? They've never waited before. A bit of a setup with the Blitzcrank helping you right there. But they stayed as five. They instantly turned when they saw the hook. 
and they won the fight. Another hook, though. Okay, Rookie will get devoured. There's the ultimate from Lawless, but here comes Ning! Welcome back! That's a kill of the Doom B. Now Gimgun is in some trouble inside the blue buff of his own jungle. The Shy picks up a solo kill. The crowd in Madrid go mad as IG continue the siege. Never try and fight the vampire in the death realm. That is the Shy's realm. That's going to open the door to their realm as well. FPX's defenses will crumble. It's a barren up IG. That could be game. This is 23 kills in 25 minutes. The average game time when these two fought the LPL was 29 minutes. The previous game ended in 28. But can FPX delay it? Invictus Gaming are on the siege. It's a five versus three for now. Do a beast survives. That spawns in three seconds. Tian gets blown up and taken down. Can't Shy gets another. The Nexus is now the focus. Do a beast. Can he save it for FPX? There's a lot of damage onto Invictus Gaming with the Shy. He's healing up with that transfusion. Dredge line finds nobody. And LWX is hammering away. The Acadian Ray's doing work. The Nexus survives. And Fun Plus are not done yet. They defend. They're going straight for the Drake here. Let's see. IG, four members here. The Shy, he's coming. Okay, he will not be there in time to stop the Drake. Do and be no flash available to him. Ning just gets blown up. Invictus Gaming now need to be saved. That's a great kickback from Tian. That's another kill as LWX continues to push forward. He's already used the killer instinct. Tian stepped forward to the great ward rush. Now the Shy is in trouble. Death Realm will wear out in just a moment. All of a sudden over the wall. Rookie is wrecking Tian and Chris. They are forced to run oh, away. Sonic it. Wave. Lee Syndrome forward. Tian doesn't get the kill yet. Chris Put continues to look. Rocket grab, rocket grab, rocket grab. Grab! It misses! Bowl and self. Here's the dredge line, won't find it. Rocket grab is flashed away oh, from the engage from Ning! He catches LWX! Kim Goon's done his job. He's locked inside the Shy in the death round. And Tian, why are you on the chickens? Why are you on the raptors? FPX are routed, are running for their lives. FPX are getting wrecked! Kim Goon almost wins the 1v1 against the Shy. He gets a gigantic shield, continues the fight! He does it! Kim Goon does his job and he turns to his team and he's like, team? <laughs> Yeah, he died a but, fast way. But Tian has got himself the flash. He's got himself the smite. The rocket grab comes out the static field as well. Tian concedes his life. Balan unable to, to find the, the kill, but now the Baron has stopped. <laughs> Invictus are sending a message. Teleport's now coming in. Here comes LWX. The W is available. He's got flash. He's got oh killer instinct. Fun Blast Phoenix and managed to turn IG away from the Baron. Now Rookie is going to look for a solo 1v1 battle here. Ultimate is available for LWX. If Rookie it's continues the chase. He's running back. up, but look at the mini-map. Here we go. That's a pop over the blast cone. Doing B continues to step forward. LWX jumps in with a killer instinct. He's been tagged with the Hemo Plague. Starts getting eaten by the culling. Doing B is able to stay alive in the pit. Here comes Gingu. He may need to use that death realm, and he does. LWX escapes with his life, and Baron's like, guys, what's up? He resets yet another time. Oh, Gingu almost and does find the solo kill. Well, this kill credit it appears it is not super effective, is the Baron's statement right now. Carries on one side and what LWX on the other side from FX will do. Who comes in? All right, it does indeed. The Obliterators, they're available. Bowland is in so much trouble. There's so much damage on the back line. LWX goes in with a killer instinct. He's been able to force the Hourglass from Rookie. The barrel from Ning by so much time. It's two for two thus far. Ning is now trying to do something around. Tian finds the fight. Doing B goes down. The Shy will get killed. Fun plus Phoenix get the ace. They win another one and the Shy, he cannot carry this. So LWX and Doing B can pick it up. Yeah, just two more seconds and now we can kill it. There we go. Everyone. Initiated. Look at Kim going over the wall. He's got flash available to him. Oh, he not. needs to break the Banshees from Shy. That's just been popped. Doobie does the protobell. I think they stole it. Ning jumps inside the pit. Now they've got Elder with their little buff. But there's already a dead member of IG. LWX is the killer instinct to the back line. This could be it for FPX. They've got all the kills. That's a double for LWX. Now Kim Goon is taken down on the side. Tian manages to get one more rookie, the last man standing. Yes. respawn. TP as well on Doom B's side. He needs to just stay alive here and he can always TP in if anything happens in the enemy Ooh. base. Rookie wants to try and finish the game here. Baron empowered minions are going to help so much here for doing B. We've got a little bit of a base race. 15 seconds before Ning can respawn back, 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 Now back. Rookie's in trouble. He needs to try back away, but he's going on a crisp. Flashes forward. Oh, we're going to get caught out. Power fist into the stack field. He's locked down. GA goes up, but he manages to find the kill. It's not done yet. Doing B now will throw out the Riptide. Depth charge gets sidestepped. The base is being broken. The Nexus turret is still going to survive. And Rookie turns his attention. LWX gets the corner here where you can't see anything. You might get hooked by the Blitzkrank. Makes it so hard if you're not staying together. Ooh, a lot of damage on Doing B. 
All right, Doombi is going to be in trouble. Throws down the hour blast. This is trouble indeed. Doombi dredge line is away to safety. He escapes for now. No, he is taken out. Death Rum is thrown down. Kimbu is trying to do what he can against the shy. Balance going to uh, Tian in the backside. And now all of a sudden, Gimgun is blown up. That's the solo latest for FPX. Down. They're dead. They're done. Look now, at the base. Look at the base. Uh, Crisp is moving in. LWX teleported in. He's got supers. We talked about it a moment ago. Now the teleport's coming into the Nexus turret. Will the tower survive long enough? Yes, it does. The shy is fighting LWX. The Nexus is not being focused. LWX escapes for a few seconds longer. Devour buys enough time. LWX gets caught down with the time to play. That's He's it. down. He's dead. The base is being pushed. Invictus Gaming break the Nexus of FPX in the most kills of a game at Worlds ever. Back to the Lucian. Oh, okay. So Gangplank top for Gimgun is his most played domestic champion. Nine games. The rest of the team can still do something. Out of the ten players on the rift, the third with the lowest gold are the supports and then Gimgun. He is still at now 30. On the FPX side. The Shy's not yet left the top lane. Accelerated Shock Blast comes out. The dredge line will find a target onto Ning. Ning won't even get a chance just yet. He doesn't even get to throw the ultimate. That's first blood picked up for Fun Plus Phoenix. LWX lets the feathers fly. Jumps up in the air. The supreme display of talent locks up enough time for Bowland to go down. Now the Shy is trying to run him up. He's using the relentless pursuit. Gets caught up. Throws down the exhaust. Gets a root down to Rookie. Now here comes Jackie Love. Chris gets caught by the Essence Flux. That's a four for three. This was such a huge play right here because IG started to move towards the hell when Jackie Jakilov was still running from bot lane without TP. So FX knew the moment doing the... Sian's going very low. True Shot Barrage is available to him. Chris gets the death sentence. Damage comes out. Supreme Display of Talent is thrown down. And Gimgun is running for his life. The Shy will flash over the feathers. He can't find Gimgun. The Dragon was picked up by FPX. But now what can Doombi and the rest of the team do? Doombi's locked inside the pit and he's locked down and he's shut down. The Accelerated Shot Blast goes out. Going one. in favor of IG despite trading one for one. They can go straight mid and secure the turret here. So it is a... A Drake for a turret as a multiple tower dives and 10 kills before 10 minutes. I think FBX pretty happy with the way they've been able to get both of these early dragons play out this mid game despite having. Oh! Well, Ning's almost gonna find Chris. That's flash for flash. The barrel comes up, but is caught out by the stopwatch. Rather, Death Sentence connects as well. Rather, the dredge line. Now the pulverize comes down, and FBX, they had the. Number. All throughout yep. the blue side of the jungle that you can see. They know that they can then force down this tower. Zone control. As an Ezreal here, when you have Lucian and Jace next to you, you have a lot of range on your side. You just want to keep the so enemy. Big. Look at that small corridor. Invictus Gaming have to rush through. Okay, Predator was used to. Envy's looking up. There goes that oh. death charge. The flash comes out. That's a fantastic Eon ultimate. Bowland's going to be the first to fall here. No, it's actually wrong. One, two, three. Invictus just get dumpstered. These big AoE ultimates. Invictus Gaming come walking straight through one by it's one. Odd setup, especially for Bowland, who wants to go in as Alistar. Right. Happens to run mid. Crisp is in trouble. Eats so much damage from the culling. Flashes away to safety at just the last second. Bowland now looking for the initiation. He's found himself and engaged in the Doom B. Now the engage turns around. That's already a kill. That's a dead nick. Now that's a great dredge line. Doom B re engages. Crisp is still waiting. He's a lantern bot. He can save somebody if he needs to. LWX let the feathers fly. Won't find the root, but it may not matter. It's a double kill for the Kiana. Doom B gets himself another. And IG. Even if IG may have better individual players, three games in a row, got the vision control in the northern quadrant of the map. Oh, here Jack we go. will escape, but the E and the Flash gets caught up there by the Nautilus ultimate. The first tower has fallen. Look at Tian. Tian can come in from behind. He has assassinated Jackie Love. And Bowland is now escaping with his life. He's flashed to safety, but it's the Shy that goes down. It's a double kill for LWX, and it is a 10 kill lead for Fun Plus Phoenix. The discipline on Tian there, waiting until Jackie Love gets into range for the Q from Brush. He doesn't have to spend his ultimate because he didn't force it. He waited for that range to be there. Then he gets a double kill. FBX are inside the base. They've got Baron buff, and they lay waste to Invictus Gaming. 15 second death timers for Rookie and the Shy, and are starting to think that Fun Plus might go like for... zero ten. Yeah. And, and like he couldn't actually do anything different. IG do not have a stronger team fight comp. That's what they had in the last game to actually win in the late game. Now they're just losing. Well, Balan's gonna get caught by the dredge line and the Shy takes so much damage! Tian with the supreme display of superior talent. The LPL Summer Champions 
are knocking on the nexus of the defending world champions and looking to eliminate them from semi-finals. FPX now onto the Nexus turrets. They've got themselves a favorable five versus two. Rookie sidesteps the dredge line, uses the exhaust, but he's going to be caught out. Goes hammer form and is killed by Tian again. Eight, one, seven, involved in 15 out of 19 kills. Fun plus Phoenix are looking for more kills before they finish the Nexus, and they will find another. Invictus trying to turn oh, around the oh, Nexus, oh, takes oh. a few seconds longer. How have they done with the Nexus? Will finally fall 2-1, Fun Plus. Golf clap now, Deficio, because game after game, we have seen Invictus Gaming prioritize lane matchup, yep. lane matchup, and yet they go. Crisp waiting in wings. This is a four versus three. Yeah, very important sweeper there. Ning actually still gets caught. All right, gets rooted up. Tiena comes over. That's a body slam. Defensive flash already. The Olaf that wanted to get ahead concedes first blood. Fun plus Phoenix. Do they flash? Yes, they do. Tiena continues to chase. Now there's some defense here from Rookie. 200 hit points to burn through on the shy, but nobody else supports it. The dredge line will not. I'm seeing the Varus on the bottom half of the map, but that is just playing right into it. Oh, here we go. He has no flash, yes. and uh, <laughs> that's, uh, we got the first. See what happens around the dive here. Tian is here to defend. All right, Rookie's going for Teleport starts to get channeled. Kim Kuhn is blown up underneath the tower. LWX now joins the fray. Ning is the next target. He manages to pick up the kill. LWX. Like the fish he was talking about. And I love the fact that Rookie, he moved towards the rivers. Even if any shenanigans were afoot, he's got that hero's entrance to jump in, support. And, you know, after the awful early yeah, game. Then you play Galio, you wave clear, and you have your ultimate to answer. See if he can actually get in range for a top, though, because the range is not quick enough now. All right, barrel comes out. Judgment is divine for now, and it simply will not matter. They floor the top lane. Ning, however, is now under some trouble. Ragnarok and Ragnarol flash forward onto LWX. The hero's entrance is going to bring Rookie into the fray. Invictus Gaming in the second fight. Now they turn their attention to the Shy. The Shy goes down because he had no ultimate available. Invictus Gaming are running for their lives, and I do not believe it that F PX have turned it around. The body slam onto Nick puts the damage down, and Rookie gets the winds of war. That was a three man knocker from Baolan. Nick's trying to solo Tian, but he doesn't have enough time. And Rookie will get interrupted. He loses the teleport as well. Transition this into the Rift Herald. Now, actually, Chris getting chased out of the river. Oh, the Undertow tagged him. That's going to allow the knock up from Baolan. The kill will be secured by the Shy. So very valuable. Look. Repeat the gank. No flash for LWX. Barrel roll comes in. So much damage onto uh, Ning's Olaf. Now Baolan comes in. The support from Rookie. Invictus Gaming say if you don't get it right the first time, do it again. Oh! But it's donated. Tian reads the watch perfectly and escapes with his life. He picks up a kill onto Baolan. Now Rookie's running away as Doombi and Chris were able to respond. Baited and outsmarted right there. Now Rookie is the one on the run. He is the Justice Punch. He's going to get oh, the uh, Dreadlock connected. Now the Shy is looking for something onto Tian. Divine Judgment was used and it's not available for him. Rookie is going to get cut <laughs> down inside the river. The Shy picks up a kill between towers. Tian gets that kill. Single lane. Two in the top lane and there's still some time. LWX and uh, Crisp trying to do what they can to push this tower down. Uh, you can see how much uh, presence it really brings to the dive. Even though they know Tian is here, Ning has full confidence. The ult goes full offense. They split both of them. They took Talia. That was a big pick for Rookie to then match this. And that's exactly what they're trying to do with Galio. Rookie has to beat them. That's what they're trying again. It seems to be the case. Now remember, Invictus gave me 3,000 gold down. Two towers down, and Jackie Love has uh, transferred his server to the PvP one as he's staring down five members of Fun Plus Phoenix. Teleport coming in from the shy. Rookie five man mid as well. IG have a lot of tools to engage. Oh my word, they've managed to catch out Balan. He's in so much trouble. The Divine Judgment is used just to save the support. That's a flash forward into the Riptide for doing and the Piercing Arrow won't find the target, and the Big Barrel doesn't either. Now, Fun Plus Phoenix have committed a lot to this play. The tower stands for a moment longer in the mid lane, and Invictus are looking for a potential re-engage. They get themselves a dredge line onto Ning. Oh, He's going forward to the Ragnarok. There's a hero's entrance has come down. Kim Kuhn's already out. Now Rookie's looking to chase forward. Protobelt's out. Winds of War not going to tag Tian. Get two kills here. 
and maybe a turn. It's so huge. Teleport is available on Duin B. Five seconds left on his respawn. I think they're setting up a possible play here from FBX. Look at that ward in mid. He can teleport on it. TP's up for Shy as well. Bowline's already down. They turn the attention to Chris. That's a two man tour. The WS gets caught out. Ning gets the undertow. The dredge line won't find a target. And that's one more for Jackie Love. Ning gets a second before Jackie Love gets taken out. The Shy has joined the fray. He didn't use the TP. He's walked his way up. That was Duin B chasing down Ning. And this will be another kill back. Nine. Position as well. Tracking those summoner spells is so important versus this team. We could see it. He's in a potential flank position. Hero's entrance is available for Rookie. That's at least a hop and a dash and a skip away to safety. Chain of Corruption comes out. Ragnarok goes in. That's a multi-man knockout. Boom. Invictus Gaming. They've lost their time thing, but they need to get the kills. That's one done. They turn their attention to three. Number four is going to fall as well. Invictus are right back into it. Yeah, they're going to finish off Gim Goon and the Baron will be theirs as well. Quick shot. Quadra kill for the shot. Unbelievable turnaround. Invictus Gaming were close enough to reinitiate. One tower has fallen. The second is on the cards. And with 20 second death timers, they can peel back to the Baron. But he's already low. Another fight. Yeah, on the cusp of being eliminated. Victor. We lost IG. What's your move? And they made it matter. IG aren't done yet. They get knocked away by the barrel. That was fantastic from Tian. He split them up. The Shy's down touched though, and so is Balan. Now they're moving forward. Jackie Love's getting all the heals. Divine Judgment is about to come off cooldown. The Shy can continue chasing. Jackie Love's killer instinct stuff. He can dive forward. Give it a few more seconds and he just might do it. Chain of Corruption saves them for now. Jackie Love, do it. Do it. Do it. There it goes. Divine Judgment from the defending World champions! No smite on the other side. Big barrels. Barrel is going to get popped. Balan's going to try to siege, move forward. Oh, this is so close. Balan is just going to zone them away. Secure it by structures as they can. But we've said it time and time again. And Tavisha, you've been screaming it. Waiting for the minions to push forward. And we'll need to see if FPS can, you know, drop the ball. Right now. Chain of Corruption comes out, but it's an Olaf. He doesn't care. Void Seeker goes out. Killer Instinct is available to Jackie Love if he wants to. Divine Judgment has joined the fray. But it's to foul out. That's not the right target. The Shy has gone down, but there is just enough damage to follow it up as the tower's been taken out. Now Rookie gets taken down. And FPS with the a big team fight, though. Uh, if you don't have time, then maybe you ult your support while he's leaving. Great observer work again to highlight that moment as the wave was being pressured. And Mirage comes out actually. Baoland is in trouble. He gets caught by the dredge line. Now the Shy stepping forward. Divine Judgment is up. Invictus Gaming might be throwing away this advantage that they have accrued. Rookie still got the ultimate available to him. Ning is now coming in on the flank oh of the dredge. Look at the minimap. Waves are pushing heavily in favor of Invictus Gaming. And now the Shy is starting to chase forward. The barrels come down though. Jackie Love and the Shy getting blown up. The Divine Judgment's available. What? How did you do this? Or Invictus <laughs> Gaming tilted. They've lost they've lost their carries, they've lost their damage, and they may have just lost the series. <laughs> that oh, Daniel Nick's running for his life with the Ragnarok. Bow like By seeing that recall go off, and Doring B then just teleports back. They kill him with no Oh, This is an attempted Baron seal from He's Ning. gonna try, he won't be able to flash inside the pit. They've stopped, they've got enough damage to kill him. Five-man <laughs> stack, inhibitor secured by Rook. Try and defend. Rookie is in the top lane without TP, so just, you can just keep going now. You might even try and set up a dive. Rookie's starting to recall. He's going to be a little late to the play. Gimgoon's got Cannon Barrage and TP. He's in the mid lane. And he's moving forward now. Rookie is got, has playing. got the ability. Bowland's coming in from behind. The quickness is available and combine it with the hero's entrance. That's a devout. This comes out. Hero's entrance comes out. Jackie Lab gets the divine judgment. Invictus Gaming wants to win this fight. Now the tower has fallen. They've turned this around. Jackie Lab has got a lot of uh, damage to work with, but not that much HP. Rookie goes golden for a while or two. But Fun Plus, they're losing the members. One, two, three. It's killed back in so close. It's dirty. The devour from Chris. FX won the fight. FPX have won the fight. They've got Baron Empowered Minions. They might just win the game. They're going to keep going for it. Crisp actually charges ahead. The inhibitor will go down. It is Shy versus FBX. Unbelievable. No flash available. No divine judgment. 30 seconds of time is what the Shy needs to buy. The defending world champions might just be eliminated by the LPL Summer Split. Reach the back line and kill him. But again, GP ulti. Doing B's ulti with the Nautilus and the Gragas. And she's Veil is going to be crucial for the Shy to get away from one of those abilities. Jackie Love gets by Tien's ulti. He's able to escape. And they get the Cannon Barrage as well. Two minutes to Baron.
four minutes to Elder. Super's pushing in the bottom lane, and IG are not relenting on pressure. I think they need a force right now. Those are two very big team fight ultimates. No Gragas or Gangplank ulti, and IG have everything available. Moving inside of the base. Dredgeline won't find the target. Doombie's got his ultimate available, and they start chipping away at the inhibitor tower. Chain of Corruption starts to spread. Divide the Divide Spirit the is not used. The giant flash available too. Hero Zippers comes down. Jackie Love is at 50% HP, and he's starting to run for his life. Doombie's being melted by the Acapian Rain. Now Battleland is going to be the target of LWX. Rookie cannot move forward. Jackie Love is running for his life. Another lost fight. The Abyssal Void from Chris is going to thwart the escape. Jackie Love doesn't have the front line. FPX has the team by win, and they might have just won the game. FPX are so good at starting these fights, they keep catching out the carries. It's LWX with the Varus ultimate. He snaps his fingers, and half the LPL teams left at Worlds disappear. Fun plus Phoenix are the summer split champions. They stare down the barrel of the defending world champions. The number one seed from the LPL, winning the all LPL matchup, three to one. Fun plus Phoenix eliminate IG and advance to the world championship finals. FPX makes it to the finals. Now, from a spectator perspective, this was one of the most interesting and exciting series to watch. But what do you think was the reason why FPX was stronger than the world champion IG today? Uh, <coughs> First off, I think our level ones were a lot better. We were able to catch them out multiple times in that period. And then I also felt like our team fights were very successful. We were stronger than them in those team fights. You looked fantastic. And Tian, I have to commend your personal performance and your personal journey so far in making it to the World Championship final in your very first world. What does it mean to you to get that milestone in your first time here at Worlds? 对于你自己而言的话,你第一次来到世界赛,就可以打到四强,然后再继续往冠军赛迈进,对你自己而言是什么意思,意义? I think our team did very well. For all of us, this was the first time at Worlds. Even though there was a lot of pressure, we were able to overcome all that pressure to perform. It is incredible how you guys have performed so far. Now, on the road to the Summoner's Cup, two possible teams stand in front of you, G2 Esports or SKT. When you look at those opponents, what do you think of your chances of lifting that Summoner's Cup in a week? When he looks at the opponents in SKT and G2, possibly, what does he think the chances are of FPX hoisting that Summoner's Cup? Uh,接下来面对SKT或者是G2,你认为FPX有多少机会可以击败他们? I, I don't know about our chances, but I hope it's G2 that we face because this is Europe's home court, and at the end of it, I want the crowd to be silent and look at G2, uh, look at FPX win the championship. Have you guys heard that? I love the fighting words, but. Now that you knocked out IG, all the hope of LPL rests on your shoulders and the shoulders of the so shoulders rather of FPX. What can you say to assure the LPL fans that the Summoner's Cup is going back to China again this year? Uh, 特别的特别大的信心，那我觉得我们一定会全力以赴。呃，我觉得我们不管在决赛面对谁，都会打得很精彩。
I don't have the most confidence right now, but we will try our absolute best, and we will make this finals extremely exciting. Fantastic. Can't wait for it. Congratulations to Tian and FPX for making it to the World Championship.